all you cyberpunks and retro nerds, it's Tommy the Hammer coming at you guys again with another sleazy cult movie review. Tonight we're going to be checking out a movie called Blood of the Virgins. This film here is directed by the same man behind The Curious Dr. Hump. We've actually reviewed that terrible film on my channel before and it was just fucking awful. You would think I would avoid this man's work, but you know what? I like low budget midnight cinema. You guys know this, so we're gonna be checking out this one. Peep the trailer, check out that shit, and we get back. Y'all motherfuckers are gonna know my opinion on The Blood of the Virgins. guys I'm not gonna take too deep of a dive with blood of the virgins first and foremost I just want to say that this movie is infinitely better than the curious dr. hump at least in terms of a cohesive horror movie storyline uh, there's a beginning there's a middle and there's an end there's also a lot of focus you know in terms of the film and considering the curious dr. hump which really just seemed like a hodgepodge mix of depravity and pornography, which is definitely not a bad thing, guys. Um, this movie, however, has all of those elements, but then it also has this kind of classic gothic hammer horror vibe about it, and I found that to be kind of appealing. However, <laughs> after the first 30 minutes or so, I found my attention straying, to say the very least, and the rest of the movie is nothing more than a plodding exercise in dull dialogue. It's so boring. This movie moves at a snail's pace. It crawls along. A lot of the scenes are basically these young, hot Spanish girls are being bit by a vampire that looks like Dracula, and then they're taken to medical institutes where dudes just strap them down, give them medication, act like they're fucking crazy, and their idea of curing them is just a fucking backhand across the face every now and again. I don't know, there's really not much that I could recommend, you know, this movie for. If you are looking for a movie that revels in sleazy midnight stupidity, well then definitely check out Blood of the Virgins. If you want a vampire film that's got likable actors and beautiful gothic scenery that's from this era, from the 60s and the 70s, I would wholeheartedly recommend uh, the Christopher Lee vampire movies, the Hammer horror films with Peter Cushing. Those movies don't have a lot of nudity. There's blood and some violence, but they're classy and they're entertaining. I mean, Taste the Blood of Dracula is one of the best vampire films of all time. It's fucking classic. This right here is bargain basement sleaze. And depending upon your own perspective, well, that may be a good thing, that may be a bad thing. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, Tom, The Curious Dr. Hump has a lot of nudity, a lot of sex. That's much more appealing than this film. Fair enough. I thought about that myself while I was watching this Blood of the Virgins movie. I was like, well, at least The Curious Dr. Hump had a ton of sex scenes. This movie, I mean, it's got some sexy moments, but I could tell the director was trying to tell a cohesive vampire story, a cohesive gothic vampire story. The problem is his intentions 
were so sleazy, so low budget, and, you know, so strained in terms of the overall production value that there's really not much to recommend with this film. It's a bore, and guess what, guys? It's barely an hour and 15 minutes. At the final 15 minute stretch mark, I was like, oh my god, when is this going to be over? I was looking at the clock, I was looking at the runtime in the movie, I was like, when will this end? But like I said, the beginning of the film actually has some potential. There's a lot of sexy girls, there's a lot of really well executed violence, including a man getting a knife stabbed into the side of his neck. Super gory, super shocking for 1967. And then all of it vanishes, all of it dissipates, all of it goes, you know, out the fucking window for the sake of, I don't even fucking know, bad dialogue? Bullshit. Bunk on this movie. I can't give it a high rating, but I'm feeling kind of generous tonight, guys, because I watch this type of sleaze all the fucking time. So, with all that being said, motherfuckers, Blood of the Virgins gets, out of ten stars, maybe four, four and a half, out of fucking ten.